Inferno. It's going to be Eternal Fire. It's going to be Na'Vi. Will it be a classic? Let's find out with Anders and Henry G. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the PGL CS2 Major, live and direct from Copenhagen. We move on to the second map, the pick of the Turkish squad, Eternal Fire, and they have looked fantastic on this one, Anders. Throughout this tournament, they've taken huge scalps, 13-10 against Team Vitality, 13-7 against VP, with Maja dominating the scoreboard throughout. They can bounce back and take us to a third map. Oh, I'm here for it. I want the third map the way that they were almost feeling that comeback into overtime on the opening. Now it's Na'Vi starting on that CT side. Already you can see scrambling. They saw something on that jump, a little drive-by jump into second mid. They saw a couple of players and they immediately disband the stack of the B-bomb side. So far so good for Na'Vi. It's great information to play with at the beginning. And they do have a smoke and a kit. So watch out for that combination if the bomb does get planted. And Zantaris can't afford that, the slow start this time. Yeah. It, it took him a good 10 rounds to wake up a Mirage. What a showing it was once he arrived, but oh, they, they yeah. need him from uh, the get-go here on the T side of Inferno. A very important pistol, of course. Bear in mind, Eternal Fire won both pistols on that first map as well. It's Na'Vi hunting for their first, and it's another headshot right to the dome. Magia, the one to inflict that damage. He knows he's got the advantage here. And JL is scrambling. They're going to have to drop the incendiary early just to buy a bit of time and space Oops. as the rotations come through. The smoke failed. It landed on the roof. CT spawn no isn't way. smoked off. Yes, it did. Are you kidding? Oh, man, that might be a bit of a mess up here. Imma charging from the back and landing a headshot on one. This is a great start for Na'Vi. Kalix getting overwhelmed. The bomb not even planted at the moment. They're in trouble, but there's Fighting life back. still. Eternal Fire not looking to give up the round just yet. The battle oh, going wow. back, a shot from Bit. Will take down Makadia. And one more time, it is on the captain of the team. Oh, he stood still. Where's he gonna go? Ten to seconds. Only nine seconds left, he's back in oh, shot. Oh, 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 oh. What a round, the chaos has arrived in Copenhagen. That is not the way we wanted to kick things off here. Who is responsible for that absolute disaster? Missing the smoke in CT spawn? I, I've not seen it at this level, especially not in a, a quarter final on your map pick. Uh, that's a disaster, a meltdown. They did very well to even make the round close. There was a conversation that Magic could win that one, but that's a catastrophe. Na'Vi can't believe their luck. It was JL that got sniped at the start of the round at a 10 HP and somehow lives to tell the tale. They will win the round, and it's gonna be a force buy. You do not see this too often, Anders. Normally you need the bomb plan to justify yes. this force buy. Like, it can work. It's off meta. You're going with the Tech 9s, the Mac 10s, you're gonna go for some basic map control here, and then try and execute, and I say that with bated breath. Normally focusing towards the apartments, you try and get three players towards the end, smoke moto, flash over, and see what can be done. Very difficult round to win. And it could open the floodgates for Na'Vi here. That is a nightmare way to kick things off. A missed smoke. The most standard smoke of them all as well. The Truly one for yes. CT spawn. Yeah, and the issue is it's even possible that Imma I, I, flanking them is partly helped by the smoke because suddenly everyone is looking at that huge gap towards CT spawn and nobody's thinking about the early flank here. Okay, now right. this is a little bit interesting. Swapping out the Mac 10 for the M4, but wonderful, the timing. Could hardly have been better there. He's gonna find the one kill. We'll spot out one more player with the yeah. Deagle. That was the bomb as well. Imagine if you would have found that. The round might have been over, but suddenly a three versus three, and they're in CT spawn. Pretty massive smoke from Alexi B. He has locked them in towards the aforementioned CT spawn. This round on a knife's edge, though, can bit work this one. Oh, he's been spotted. He's been spotted. Down he goes. And what? Down he go! No, Kalix. He'll find the kill. It looks like a ton of fire are gonna bounce back from the pistol blunder. Ricardia, last player remaining, in towards CT spawn, will be dropped by JL. And there is a fighting chance, it's not over just yet. Alexander two points of health, Zantares, he's got full health and now the M4. That smoke though makes things very uncomfortable, but it's pretty shambolic in terms of his positioning. I said he is, he snuck right through. There is a kit somewhere, but I don't think JL has the time to find it. He's gonna have to try and find the kills instead. He will get the first one, taps the bomb, but 10 seconds in the corner is a real long time to be sat with your back turned towards the pit. Santaris comes out. Oh, no way. God, JL. I don't think he has it. Time to kill is so short. 
He finds four kills in the round, but I think you're right, Henry. The time should be running out here. It's oh! oh my God! It's down to the last possible second. Back to back collapse for Eternal Fire. There is no way they should be giving that situation up. Who are throwing the smoke, Sanders? Why does that moto smoke about? The huge gap. Yes. He's given him so much room to work with. He can work his way towards the bomb side, find an elevated position. That is an absolute horror show for Eternal Fire. Back to back miss smokes. They're costing the round. Ah, Magic knows it as well. How have you lost that one? The 10 second defuse. Zantaris doubted himself. He didn't have vision on the bomb. Yeah. He's planted in the worst possible spot. But they did get the bomb planted. They'll have to move on, pick themselves up and dust themselves down here. They'll force by into round number three, two zero. And he's on a knife's edge of both teams here. It's not the worst outcome in the world, I suppose. Those bombs being planted, but my God, it's heartbreak not, for the Turks. I was about to say, it's not even the, it's not the rounds. It's the, it's the impact that it has on a team. Knowing, my God, we could have maybe won the pistol. And they should have won the pistol. Definitely won. Should the have won that round. second round force by as well, which is arguably better than winning the pistol. Yeah, you're right. And that's gone away as well. They still have a fighting chance here. They've got to keep their heads held high. Five players making their way towards A. We talk about his strategy, Anders. The flashbangs will come out of the apartments momentarily, but a very strong incendiary. Towards their efforts, they'll have to consider the, a different position here. They might have to go back towards Banana. Now hold on, they have one flash remaining. The smokes are yet to be deployed, I suppose. 40 seconds. I expect Majum, he might just try and smoke off this part of the map and then go back and throw the flash from middle. Yeah, they've got one flash though, that's the problem. Sure, they can smoke Moto, that's no problem. Yeah, that's that smoke down. So now it's just one flash to try and get three players out. Here's the flash, it's gonna have to be a hell of a flashbang. Bits, one of the best pit positions. Oh, players, I should say, he only gets a bit of damage inflicted and wonderful, starting to light them up. He's just at six bullets left, it's not gonna be enough. 12 seconds on the clock and they are gonna be able to plant the bomb once again. Great work for Eternal Fire. What did they have? A couple of smokes, one flashbang that didn't even hit that much, but they enter into the bomb site. It's very tricky when you got that I hit can't. an A site crossfire. They broke it wide open. Can't believe Bit didn't even get a frag there. It looked like he was guaranteed a couple. Once you see that flashbang coming through, it's pretty telegraphed what they're up against. But Eternal Fire keep their head above water here. Oh, this is huge, right? Oh, it's massive. Look at the money on Navi or the lack of money, really. And yeah, they only get $1,400 on top of the little they have right now. They have to save these two weapons. Wasn't a comfortable round, but Eternal Fire will find their first here on the team side of Inferno. It's their map pick and three survive as well. Bit had to find at least one. He gets absolutely nothing for his troubles there. And this could be a tactical timeout. It's a very problematic scenario now for Na'Vi. Funds are running incredibly low. We'll have a look at the... Overall complexion of the buy, I assume they're going all in here. So we'll see MP9s 5 7 for Alexi B. They've got a diffuse kit and basic utility as well. Round four, a very important one, a very difficult round for Navi to try and bring in their favor. Eternal Fire have got a huge advantage here. And they've looked like the better squad in these rounds. It's just at the final hurdle. Yes. They collapse, but uh, finding some decent form in round number three has set themselves up. Utility, a lot of damage inflicted towards JL. Forced off the angle. Well, and if you're Eternal Fire, why would you do anything other than play this round slowly? You know that Navi are not going to have that much money. They're not going to have many grenades if you force a couple of them out early. So much the better for when you actually do go for the execute. And that's it's very, very textbook counter strike that they're playing at the moment. And that's a good reason. Trying to get that basic mid control now. Pop flash to enable. Forcing out more smokes. Oh, you're right. So Zantares with some nice mid-control here. Smoke down towards Moto again. Same strategy, Anders, but Zantares, tip of the spear, opens things up, and wonderful, he multiple frags once again. Controls the Famous. Fantastic work, but not quite enough. It's still a three-on-three three and a heavy advantage for Eternal Fire as they plant the bomb. Major didn't actually see that. He has no idea that someone's walked past, so it could be a real surprise here, though. They are acting like someone might be there. Major catching the rotation. This round is on Immer. He basically has to take a step forward and get a very fast double kill for this to even be possible at this stage. There's the one, but shot in the back by Kalix in the pit. And that should be the round here. As long as Madger's alive, I don't think Jail could do much of anything. I think he might be right there. Nice work. 
Madjap. He's always in the back lines. He's always so frustrating to play against. And once again, secures the round, secures the kill. We're all tied up. And Na'Vi looking down the barrel of a full eco at this stage. Great recovery once again. This time much earlier on. Bear in mind, they went down nine and three in the first half of Mirage. It took them so long to find some initial form. Uh, they're actually bouncing back and uh, looking to take the lead here. Almost guaranteed to win this follow-up round. Well, look at this. We've got some real Turkish representation here in the crowd. I love seeing that. They are ready and cheering. From what I heard, they sold out like 5,000 tickets to watch parties across like Istanbul and major cities in Turkey as well. Uh, so yeah, this is amazing for the Turkish scene, the, the deepest run they've ever made at the major here in the top eight. And now, that's beautiful. With the lead. After this particular round, there's almost nothing purchased by Na'Vi. They had to take the full eco here. It's Zeus for Imma. They've had some uncomfortable rounds, sure, Eternal Fire, but they are in full control of this stage. Careful now. Ricardia. You don't want to get sapped at the corner. Could happen. Yeah, very well could happen. It is just a map 10, but still... Always a bit of... Levity whenever those kills come through. This time, they have in fact landed the smoke CT spawn, so everyone is excited about that. And they're gonna get the round here, getting the bomb plant down. There should be no way to lose this one. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. There's no real reason to save the MAC-10, unfortunately. You might as well try and farm some money with it. Every kill with that particular weapon gets you $600. A little bit of a dink there, but not much damage inflicted towards Antares, down to 83. And, uh, yeah, just going to try and lock them in towards the B-bomb side. But as mentioned, it's a bit of a gimme round. Eternal Fire will find their third here. As Na'Vi just look for the exits. Is there anything left to be said? Good smoke to allow the exit. Should be absolutely fine. Antares is looking above that smoke, he knows his kills on the other side. Jumping at the bit to get stuck in. Good flashbang with the CTs, but just don't have the firepower to really deal with this one. As it is complete mop up. Well done. Well, there we have it. Alexi B. No kids, and the players have escaped <laughs> his reach as we go three to two. Bear well, in you... mind, this is where Eternal Fire done some of their best work this tournament. It's where Madge's had some of his career best performances at this major. They look very confident right now. They look like they know exactly what they're doing. Well, it might be worth highlighting, Henry, if there are any new viewers out there who are brand new to Counter-Strike watching for the first time. What really distinguishes Inferno from all of the other maps is that it has basically two of the bomb sites here that are the hardest to retake, both on A and B. So once the bomb goes down, you have to assume that Na'Vi now on the CT side are in a lot of trouble almost every single time. It's just so tricky. Now they're calling a timeout. They don't like the way this is shaping up, and I can't really blame them for it. Eternal Fire look absolutely locked in and ready to try and take this to a third map. Oh, they absolutely do. This is already shaping out to be quite a nice half after a real terrible situation. Like losing that pistol in the second round, four spies as well, looked like they were done for, but three in a row, a weak buy still from Na'Vi. They do not have nearly enough to be comfortable here. Two MP9s in the hands of JL and Alexi B. Three M4s. They have a single kit to work with here as well, but it kind of is one of those rounds you need to play for the opening kill. Some sort of aggression required, maybe a two-man setup towards the apartments, but it's going to be Woxit Bravely pushing through the utility. Boost up Zantares! And another cracking headshot to open things up. Finds Alexi to be on the other side, but so much damage has been inflicted. JL heard that. Singed toes fall back through the smoke. 27 HP on Zantares, 30 for Woxic. He could get a double spray down here, and it all starts here, though. Majab managing to tuck himself in, Look at the avoiding the bullets. Look at Na'Vi rotating three people to the B bomb side. That's pretty aggressive, and now, yeah, they're just stomping their way back through CT spawn, trying to get here. They're worried that there's going to be an execute before they even show up. I'll smoke down towards Arch and Library, and it's going to be the A finish here, the bomb. Making his way towards the arch side itself. JL has no vision. He's going to try and flash in Immer here. It's going to have to be one hell of a flash, Anders. It delivers on all fronts. Double kill converted as Na'Vi take the man advantage on this desperate buy. That was a god tier flashbang, and it might have given them the round. There's still 40 seconds left, and he's playing on the ledge. He Damn. gets taken down. Lacardia. Very good little spray to come through. Immer keeps it going. Finding a third kill for himself. And wonderful. Would we'll clean up the round. Na'Vi. Very important round here. I'm not sure what's up with Bitanders. Like he was pretty much non-existent on Mirage. He dropped a 0.8 rating there. Like Alexi B, who looked like he was doing nothing on the map. Bit 
was actually beneath him. And now this A-side hold for himself, it's, it's not looking amazing. His teammates are going above and beyond. Great synergy, but yeah, Vic can't find any footing whatsoever. He's considered one of the, the absolute best pit players yes. of CSGO history. I was going to say, that's actually how he kind of carved out a name for himself at the beginning, right? He's oh, having a rough ride out there. Look at that deep smoke in the middle for the CT side. Navi really putting pressure here on Eternal Fire, but Woxic actually beating it. My God, he just walked straight through. Saying, all right, you might have thrown that deep smoke, but we're not going to read it like a push. We're calling your bluff on this one. That kind of forces Navi a little bit back. I do like that smoke, though. That's a You can put a lot of pressure on second mid if you if you actually push forward. Uh, you can see they're not comfortable whatsoever. Lost control of Banana, resetting the round. Smoke towards our upside, I assume that's going. And it's going to be a B finish here, Anders. They have nothing under their remits. We're talking middle apartments. It's going to have to be a bull B execution. Alexi B to defend. JL there with him as well. Nice HE grenade. He bounces it off the corner to do some significant damage. Over 100, it seems. And in they go towards B. Weakened up. And it's going to be JL with a bit of a shooting gallery available to him. But he oh. burns away. He kept burning on top of the coffins. I can't believe it. Wonderful right through. He gets the last second headshot. Takes down Woxic. It is Alexi. At the back of the bomb site. If he just could get one more kill, this round is pretty much already done. But Alex oh! He does a 90 degree flick and takes down Emma. He leaves bits. And again, the difficulty of retaking these bomb sites, not to be underestimated. He blows open the smoke, clears it, but there's no one on the other side to receive. And now he's in trouble, trying to flash his way through. Already low on health, and they have found him. Kalix with an amazing round, four kills. To save Eternal Fire once again. Navi can't believe what has happened there. I can't believe it, Anders. They did so much damage. He knew exactly what was going on. JL, like I said, a shooting gallery presents itself. He doesn't realize he's burning at the top of the coffins there. It's a perfectly placed Molotov. He goes down with just the one. And then pandemonium ensues at that stage. It's a massive round for Eternal Fire to steal away. Navi, a thrown into an eagle spiraling here on the CT side. It's four to three as JL once again taking significant damage from the Molotov at the start of the round. It's barely a partial by call this one an eco. They've got some upgraded pistols and wonderful. He's only good for the one here. Should be the double kill for Eternal Fire in general. Stretching their legs here on the T side of Inferno. Back and forth we go, but it's man advantage, presumably round one. Ooh. One player remaining, that's JL. Nothing he can do about this one. Five rounds locked in. Well, you know what? Eternal Fire might have lost the first two rounds of this half in a pretty miserable way, but that last round for Navi, that was locked in. It looked like two versus three. Backup was coming. But Kalix, the one to step it up. Four kills in that round. Nine in total now that he's taken down another one in this one. And a 5-3 to three lead on the T side of Inferno Henry. This is shaping up to be a really beautiful start for Eternal Fire. The dreams of that third map up, they're looking quite strong right now. And that's with them completely fumbling the, the yes. pistol in the second round, forced by as well. It's been nothing but one-way traffic, really. Eternal Fire looking fantastic here on the T side of Inferno. They've had some fantastic results throughout the tournament. JL hoping that someone's sitting in the pit, but uh, not to be the case. He'll go down with the blast as well. Well, Ben, that was the full eco at the very least, we can say that. But Navi can still win the half-handers, they can still recover this one and get seven rounds. It's just the way that it's so convincing. Eternal Fire, already a decent haul on the T side here. Up against another weak buy, we've got an MP9 for Alexi B, a Famous for Imma. Currently set on six kills and his bit still MIA out there, four and seven. He bottom fragged on Mirage. Really need him to turn up at this stage. Internal Fire are running rampant here on the T side of Inferno. Oh, I like this. Walk sick. You could see him trying to dodge the flashbang there, but he wasn't quite able to land the shot at the top of Banana. Still, I want to see them try and flex here a little bit. Show some different colors. Been a lot of his Centaurus trying to enter on Banana, and that's fine. But yeah, if you can switch it up and throw the EWP in first, then why not? Now the forward position towards the middle again. They really want to control this top mid position. 
And they need to, right? They, they can't really let Eternal Fire have both Banana and top mid. Double setup. In the air apartments. Oh, this could work. Looks like they are going to get the chance to flex a little bit. Oh, they all missed the shot. Oh, dear. That is not how that is supposed to play out. <laughs> Double peak from either side of the apartments there. And certainly a total fire coming out on top. It's going to be a man deficit once again for Na'Vi. Wonderful, wounded, but knows he has to deliver here. Holds towards top and middle. At least some valuable information relayed to his team, but... He's only really good for one kill here. He'll be swarmed and taken down as soon as he fires off his AWP and he's low. They stacked to be bombsite. It's the wrong call, Anders. Yes, it is. One of the back up. Wonderful. It's a strong shot to begin with, but the pressure will keep on coming. They're right down yeah. above him as well. One more. All bullet connecting. And now the pressure's really on here. Flash comes through. Oh, he doesn't get the no scope. They needed him again. Four seconds left on the clock, barely, and it's just going to be the round here. Madjo, he can't find the bomb in time. Navi will win the round to time alone. Wonderful save today. Yes. Holds his nerve. Hits the vital shot. Buys him some time, falls back. It could have been a glorious sequence if he got that no scope towards the pit as well. But it was more than enough to win the round. Time was of the essence. You could see 20 seconds when he hit that initial frag. Second one had to find the kill on Kalex, and then matchup, nothing he could do. No time to plan. But they start to bounce back here. It's going to be the first tactical timeout for Eternal Fire. Resource would be a bit of a question mark now after Magic got dropped after time. Got no extra money there, so just going to discuss their options. It's already been a very successful T side campaign, even with those difficult opening rounds, losing the pistol and then to that second round force by as well to a huge JL clutch. They just look so determined in what they're doing at Tonal Fire, but the problem is, you're right, if you run out of money, then you can have all the strats that you want. It's not going to make a big difference here. So what's the play? Is it a partial buy? It looks to be the case. And that's absolutely fine. Now. You've got a, a few more rounds to go. Five is already pretty decent. And uh, you've got every chance to win this one as well. A deep smoke once again, allowing the CTs to have a little bit more wiggle room. At the start of the round, it will be bit just investigating second middle. The jump across didn't spot much. Wonderful, the AWP changing up his position over towards the B side of the map now, boosted up on half wall, very powerful position, good for one kill, drop off. Very difficult to dislodge in this sort of round. Massive grenade, Majev. Ouch. Pretty much max damage at that one. Like I said, wonderful if he misses the shot, not a huge deal, but he's not missing much today whatsoever. In-game leader down, four players remain for the Turks. They've still got a couple of smokes here, four flashes in total. Smoke might actually allow them to just pop through this with a cheeky flash. There's the flash. Yeah, so that smoke was uh, exactly what they wanted to drop at this stage, but uh, still should be fine. They've allowed them to get to the top of Banana, though. Relocating here is Alexi. Oh, yeah. Can't land a kill. Uh -oh. Save his life for the moment. The orb in the back of the bomb site. And here comes trouble. All the pistols in front. Wonderful doing what oh! Rounds more. He can't be stopped. Here's Ace them to save the day for Navi. It might not have been simple, Anders, but it certainly was wonderful. He saves them once again. It looked like they were done for. A horrific smoke at the bottom of Banana. Actually gifted space over to Eternal Fire at that stage. They pushed through. They swarmed the bombsite. Tech Knights absolutely lethal at that range, but the USP mows them down. Nothing but headshots delivered. As wonderful ties things up. Five to five now. An ultimate round of this first half. Na'Vi are back online. Money. Still not perfect, and as you can see, a distinct lack of utility on the T side now. A Galil in hands of Wicardia. And this, this map of Inferno just got interesting. That was the moment, I would call it GG at that stage. They win with Tech Nines there, I don't see Na'Vi recovering. No. I mean, I mean they're, they're, they're gonna want to pressure Alexi again. 
They're beating him with whatever they have right now. It doesn't really matter. They're winning it every single time. Oh, but this spray, that is lethal. Centaurus unable to escape. You said it, Navi can still win the half. And that's what they're marching towards at the moment. Some trouble now for the Turkish squad, trying to see if they can recover themselves. Oh! oh wonderful. wonderful! What is he doing to this game? Alexi goes down yet again. And so does wonderful. They finally found a way to kill him. Okay. That turns around on his head. Kalex is feeling it right now. He finds yet another headshot. They're tantalizingly low. Maja holding the extremities and once again stealing the round away. Imma can't believe it. How have they thrown this round after a collateral kill was found? By Wonderful, he couldn't do more for the squad. He's got 19 kills, but it never feels like it's enough. Kalix and Maja working in tandem here. Imma couldn't be further away. He has to give it a go. He's got the kit. They're very low indeed. Maja, though, he peeps as he's going down. He continues to find kill after kill. How have they done that? An absolute heist of a round. The swings back and forth. The ace from Wonderful. This round should have been Navi's every single time. But somehow they've managed to bring it back. Kalix and Madger with absolutely no health at all. He even lands the last shot. And now check a look at this, Henry. Into the 12th round we go. Wonderful on a Nova shotgun. They have nothing to fight with here, Navi. A Nova shotgun. You don't see many of those these days. Is it the weapon that saves the day? JL spotted will drop. Not all he has. A smoke towards Harpool trying to fend them off. Push them into that shotgun. Which currently waits towards the quad side of middle. Eternal fire. Stealing the previous round away. Leaves Na'Vi with almost nothing here. Pistols and an SMG, a Nova shotgun at the very top end of their buy. If they end up winning this round, Eternal Fire will be kicking themselves. Yeah, this round is set up for them. They've already had enough giving up some of the early rounds. Don't, don't give them this last one. Smoke up towards the corner of Arch. It's a Molotov so trying to burn out the quad position. 50 seconds left bit. Getting dangerously close with that C set 75. He is one of the few players left that actually knows how to use it, so don't underestimate it. It's a rare weapon nowadays. 40 seconds. Oh, look at this. Information play coming in. Navi pushing forward. JL here just with the 5 7 at the corner. All of the pressure on him. He walks sick to open it up. 30 seconds left. Alexi next in line. But he's going to fall it's back and no here in the footsteps. They have to commit. There's no other way. 24 seconds, they've slowed this down so much now. They're running the bomb back. Henry, this is madness. Oh my goodness. The CZ and CZ is not going to be quite enough. A bit will find at least one. 10 seconds now. Oh, the Nova shotgun Anders. It could steal it away. There's no chance to plan. If they stay alive on the other That's side of the map, I think it's done. Yeah, they pick up the bomb. That's all it took. Oh, the wow. Nova to the rescue. Another round for Navi. Okay. We said they'd be kicking themselves if they gave that round up. They actually played themselves towards the end. The bomb top of middle with 10 seconds to go. The Nova Shotgun just has to hit one single kill. It delivers as Wonderful keeps the dream alive here on Inferno. We split it right down the middle. We go 6-6. Six, six. Absolute pandemonium out there right now, ladies and gentlemen. Na'Vi back in this game. That's it's been back and forth, but I can't believe that's the way round number 12 is closed out. It's going to be one of the most chaotic halves of Counter-Strike I've seen in a really long time. They split it right down the middle, 6-6 six to six as we go into the second half now. Eternal fire on the CT side. Copenhagen, let me hear you! Let's get into this second half pistol, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a very technical buy from Na'Vi here. Two smokes, Molotov and three flashbangs. Decoy for good measure as well. As we see them enter the banana area, it's Bits leading the charge. Bomb down at T steps right now. Magic will tuck himself in behind the half walls. Antares providing the cover. 
and a flashbang from Kalex as well, I assume. Indeed. So as soon as they get contact, he flashes over and sets up the swing here. It's going to be down to Magic. He's multiple frags. Great flashbang. They can't connect the dots. Now they know there's a third member there. They know that flashbang had to come from somewhere. And right. they'll continue their push. Yeah, they've done the math. They know exactly what's going on. Great smoke. And a smoke off Kalex. Just waiting for him. Oh, oh JL, no. And the shot. JL right oh. for the smoking. Speaking of smoke, it walks it right through Alexi. They might have thrown it, Anders. Oh, no way. They, they might have thrown it. They've done everything right. Bit going to finally plant that bomb. Can he do more? He found the double opening. They might have to call upon Bit to not just start the round, but close it off as well. Here comes the push for Eternal Fire. The retake is on. Ima with a nice shot, but is it enough for you? Bit shot in the back, and now a one versus one. Ima just hiding. That's all he has to do here. No way, there's going to be a 10 second defuse. Wakadia knows he has to hunt him down. Hunt him at the oh top of the night. He runs out. And that <laughs> is the round. No more bullets to save the day. Navi to take the lead. What is going on here on Inferno? Both pistols now in the bag for Navi. Each of them. So chaotic, so difficult to call. It was looking so good for Na'Vi. They get the opening frags. You think it's a done deal. All of a sudden, they start leaping in from the utility. JL orbits himself up. Walks it. Gets the kill through the smoke. And the Julies, it will elude Ricardia. You don't see a reload required too often. But he didn't have the bullets remaining. And they're going to force by back. Eternal fire with the scouts. Three MP9s and a Kalex Eagle. Walks it. Your team needs you. The only player in this roster to have performed at a major quarterfinal before. Yes, and that was a long time ago. Yes, and be back in 2018. Let's see whether he's got what it takes to at least inflict some damage, set up these SMGs, a huge round. Eternal fire. They've looked like the better squad. They look like they're more comfortable yes. on the map, but the rounds they're giving up are crazy. I, c I mean, I cannot believe that out of all the players that had to go down for the smoke to Woxig, it was Alexi. Yeah. He's at such a miserable time on Inferno. He's 2 and 11 right now. His team is winning. So you know he's doing something right, but my God, he'd probably love a great individual round for himself here. Well, like Massive peak, and that confirms it. You're going to the B-bomb side. He was the lowest rated player in the elimination stage of the tournament. Yeah. Which, which says a lot. I know he's the in-game leader, but sure. doesn't bode well as we do see Magia. He had a fantastic performance in the elimination stage. Continues to keep him in this round at the very least. JL might have sealed the deal, though. Walksick this time. No dice through the smoke, but still they continue to push. They're not done just yet. Lots of damage inflicted by Wakadia. But surely that's where it's all done. This Deagle could get some very, very fast shots, but oh, that's going to happen. Bit clean connection to take down Kalix and you're saving a scout. I guess you might as well. Doesn't feel that great. And what feels even worse is the fact that Na'Vi are going to take a two-round lead here. And it's a full eco coming up next. This was an ambitious force by Inferno. It does make sense. You can get that. The CZs, the SMGs, a scout. But if it doesn't work out, you're in a lot of trouble. An absolute gimme of a round coming up next here for Na'Vi. Just a few rounds away from the semi-finals here in Copenhagen. And I'll say it again, Eternal Fire have looked like the better team on Inferno. They've looked very comfortable. Yes. There's just some very bizarre rounds slip away. The pistols have eluded them. And they find themselves in an 8-6 deficit with a full eco up next. That's They'll invest lightly, Anders. They've got a Zeus and some jewelies, but that is about it. More bizarre rounds than we can count at the moment. Like, there's been so many. We're going to have to give a really deep recap on this entire game because... You can read yeah, the analysts got their work cut out for them. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> the first two rounds already suggested it was going to be a wacky game. Then you had the ace, then you had the Nova shotgun. You had the collat kill from Wonderful. Yet just madness all across the board. Well, well, well. Surely, Navi, a moment of respite here. Oh, look at a that. A clean nice round score. required, but the flashbang is going to be really difficult to deal with. Magic's about to deploy it. Here it comes. A swing. But Zantares, they got this kill. They've got that kill, no problem. And Zataris with no body armor, though. Can he get a second? Not quite, but Madge is making things interesting. Is this isn't a foregone conclusion now. Three on three. I think Kalix saw a player in second mid, so he, he might know that they're rotating back. Oh, they could still lose this. They could, but he only if has a USP. Down. Yeah, but he's got the Zeus oh. as well, Anders. 
Surely then I'm gonna get that close. Oh, the swing is in. Oh, Alex with the headshot, but he cannot get the rifle. It was just out of arm's reach. Bit. There's something going on with him today. And now with the Galil coming in towards the apartment position, they, they can definitely still lose this round. 100% they can still lose it. Yeah. Maggio from the high ground. Oh, they're checking it though. He's in trouble and he's been shut down. Alexi finally finding another kill in the round as well. And now he's starting to build this lead. Not the cleanest round. Definitely not. Much. Really nice setup though, you have to say the flashbang, the pop flash, more importantly from the coffin position, sets up Zantares to do a lot of damage with those jewelies. They got a lot out of a little there. As we get into round number 16, I'm still not worried for Eternal Fire. They, they have looked comfortable in Inferno. If they can just stabilize now, convert a couple of these rounds. Third map still very possible. Yes, it is. It's really, really late just to have this kind of a buy right for Eternal Fire. A lot of rounds already passed here in the second half. They finally have some actual rifles to fight with. Woxic on the AWP. The trouble is in the utility department. Like we mentioned, retaking really any of these bomb sites is tricky. If you have no grenades, it's probably not going to happen. And they're already using pretty much everything. Single smoke on Santaris. He's gonna leave it behind for Magic to pick up. And Kalix with the Molotov. He's in the pit, so that's what they have. So Magic's gonna be able to fall back and pick up the smoke and then put it down again. That's good. But that's all they have right now, Henry. They, they're practically out of grenades. Magic, a lot to do here. And not a lot to work with. And have a single smoke remaining. Interesting boost here. Santaris be on top, trying to get some sort of vision. Doesn't get much for it though. 40 seconds remaining here, and there's Alexi B with full banana control. Magic is trying to hold on to his smoke at the absolute last second. He's actually got a lot of mileage out of it. Yes, he won't is. want to push through that. He is alone, sure. But I think they just don't want to even have anything to do with this. It's a great trade coming in from JL. Bit finally showing some form here on Inferno as well. It's uh -oh. still not enough to win the round. Boxer can hit this shot as the bomb is planted. That is a critical kill. But they are, they are in a little trouble still. They know there's no one flanking because Bit is holding that position. So they only have to worry about this one. A flash to set it up and a bit of a peek. They do not get the kill just yet. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah, really sacrificing himself. Oh, yeah. And it's wonderful to go down next. All on Bit as he gets the first couple of kills. Instant shutdown. A flash around the corner. He swings. He's oh, hunting. Oh, oh, oh. Bit by Bit and bullet by bullet. He has won the round. That's the bit we know and love. Where has this guy been all series? A magnificent one versus three. A round that looks stolen away once again by Eternal Fire. As he holds strong, perfectly played, denies him any chance of defusing the bomb. And now, Eternal Fire starting to spiral on their CT campaign. An absolute gut punch of a round to give away. And that should throw the money into disarray as well. Holy. You're right, though. Maggio played it as well as you possibly can. Yep, that 35-second that deployment of the smoke is brutal. Yes. It's such a difficult situation to fight your way out of. You have to take a deep breath, push someone through, and hopefully get the trade. They got it. It was looking so good for a second. J.O., you think the round is over. Bit gets the kill towards the apartments as well. All of a sudden, those Antares and Kalix working in tandem. They get a couple of frags. Time is of the essence and bits. Right place at the right time. They knew he was coming in from Banana after his boiler room kill. And now it begs the question, what sort of fire do we have available? Not much of one. It's enough to win a round, but it'll be uncomfortable to say the very least. MP9s, as Antares M4, Madge on the Deagle. If Na'Vi win this round, Anders, the 2-0 dream could be a reality. I can't believe the scoreline is 10 to 6. Eternal Fire, they looked so competent at the start of it. Yes, they lost some very unfortunate rounds, and there were a couple of slips up that, you know, you could go back and criticize. What but a oh, shot. Okay. All right. Sit down, Zantares. Oh, JL, if you get this one, too, that's the round. The last defending player at the B-bomb side is Maggio with just a eagle. And putting some pressure Bring on that. this side. Bit surely going to get overwhelmed here, at least traded. Oh, hang on. Hang on, Anders. 
Oh, they were trying to find some space and punish the rotations, but they've actually got themselves in a very problematic scenario right now. Three versus two. Instead of just waiting and operating together, they tried to snatch the map control. And it's going to be a B finish here. Like you said, Madger at the back, but he's got the M4. He's got a flashbang as well. And he's going to allow them to have the bomb site. He doesn't want to go down with nothing here. Oh, but look at the flank that's coming in. Woxic. I mean, he's closing the door on this one. Oh, he's time to time One step ahead. Yes, he really has. You don't want to be too early and you don't want to be too late. Might even catch him before they even commit to the water bomb site. Yes, he'll spot one. He knows exactly what's going on. He's coming into his team. They'll have no idea. He's coming through the back tracks here. Great kill, make it a double. Eternal fire. Finally, oh. the luck landing on their side of the server after two opening frags from Na'Vi there. It's the partial buy that finds them success and keeps them alive on Inferno. What kind of wizard is that? He arrives precisely when he means to. Not, a, not an easy task. You miss the timing on that push if you're a little bit too quick. Maybe you get shot down and then Madrid is truly alone. You never know what's going to happen here. It's That's been nothing but wacky rounds so far in this game. That's a clumsy one from Na'Vi. Yes, a little bit. 10 to 7. Like they didn't have to commit to that push. They were just trying to close it out early. Instead of waiting, operating as a unit, players trying to find positional control. And they run into the stack. They lose everything. And it's going to have to be an eco here as well. Eternal Fire right back in this one now. Up against the Hero AK. Got bits heavily invested. They're going to try and trade out a kill here. But Kalex lighting them up. He's on with a hat trick. Wonderful. We'll recover the AK 47. But Kalex is happy with that outcome. They have yet to give up a frag. Taking down two Navi players and they'll retreat back to the safety of the bomb site here. Nicely done. If they get out of this one with all the rifles intact, that's huge. That's how you keep this economy building. Rock stick to take it down, landing a shot. You know, Henry, if you've been a connoisseur of Turkish Counter-Strike for a while, you knew that Kalix had this level. He just hasn't really shown it lately. He's got 20 kills. He is almost caught up to wonderful. I don't know if that was on my bingo card for tonight, Henry. I thought it was going to be Santaris. I thought it was going to be Wincar Wincardia. Right. But Kalix with a throwback performance, that is sick. Yeah, you love to see it. He's delivering the goods right now, and the money is still battered and bruised for Na'Vi. They'll, they'll buy up. But it's an Alexi B Mac 10, a Tech 9 for bid after. Trying to get it done with the hero AK. Speaking of heroes, we need Magic to step up. He's gone down with absolutely nothing. Imma taking light damage in the flames. He needs to be careful here. Wakadia. He's not alone in the B-bomb size, Antares will join him as they don't want to slow down. Na'Vi wanting to take the fight here. Oh, so much damage inflicted, and knows Antares is painted into a corner. JL breaches the B-bomb type. Five on two, Kalix and Voxic. There is absolutely nothing they can do about this one. It's Na'Vi operating with the MAC-10, the Tech-9, finding his opening kills and then punishing Antares. Huge recovery. That is a classic B defense scenario. You're struggling to fall back. You want to throw down the, the smokes, but you also want the rifle out. It's all chaos. It's relentless pressure coming in from Navi. And they absolutely make oh, it work. Madja caught his pants down there towards the sandbags. Yeah. Bit of a freebie. He didn't realize they could get so close. Caught his nades out. A couple of players went down with the grenades in hand. And that's going to be two players surviving. The money's actually okay for a ton of fire. Bear in mind they won that partial buy, but they kept the money around $3,000 per player. So two surviving, sure, it's certainly not ideal, but there is at least a buy with the Woxic AWP. He has $9,000 in reserve as well. But that's still very clean for Na'Vi. They don't drop a single player, upgrading all of their SMGs and pistols into CT rifles now. And the time up been called. This Colonel Fire, up. yes, they need it. They need it desperately right now. I'm, I must say, I'm starting to feel a bit nervous here. Time is running out for Eternal Fire to mount their comeback. It's a much more achievable comeback than it ever was on the opening map. But Na'Vi, I mean, they're, they're powering through this one. Led right now by Wonderful, just hitting so many shots. He was the man at the moment. On Mirage as well. It was like 26 to 9 on one stage. What's going on here? Friendly Chicken back at the Major. 
trying to make a name for himself once again. It's a real throwback. <laughs> Down he goes. Rest in peace. Round 20. Navi on the hunt for series points. Looking to book themselves a place in the semi final here in Copenhagen. Eternal fire, like we said, plenty of money. That's not an issue here. This has to be a pretty much perfect game from here on out. Calix. 20 kills. Been a beast top of middle. Now try the luck at the beat bomb side once again. Magia. Zantara is working in tandem, holding on to the utility. A passive hold this time, nice and sendry. Slows them right down. And bear in mind, they don't have presence elsewhere on the map here. So they're looking to execute as soon as possible. A bit of presence shown from Bits. He's just going to be smoking down towards the arch side. Is trying to suggest still could be an A finish here. But you're right. You don't want to be standing on banana for too long. And now they're going to pull the trigger. They just push through. I think they are. Oh, yes, they are into the Molotov. That's a lot of damage. And now they have to give it up anyway. They realize we can't keep going. The double pumping back into the bomb site. Madra getting finally traded here. But with 40 seconds left, now they are really being denied this bomb site. Bits trying to see if he can open it up, but he will. They have time to run back. Oh, that's huge from Bits. And now walks it under a ton of pressure here. HP not a factor. Uh -oh. Bits been spotted. Has to be the connection with the AWP. It's a P250 that somehow saved the day. 20 seconds remaining. Woksik misses another shot. He's given them positional control. But his teammates arrive in the nick of time, denying the plant. And Eternal Fire are still alive and well. Some way, somehow. The P250. Did he shoot the bullet or just throw it at him? He had no <laughs> time. He was back. That was such a ridiculous kill. Oh, Bits, if he survives that one, if he held default, it was a done deal. He didn't anticipate the P250 to be drawn out. Literally the only way Woksik can save that yes. situation. Hope he's low HP. <laughs> Ridiculous. Absurd. And with Cardia, he'll rotate in, snatch it away. It felt like it was a done deal with Bits' position towards the arch side. Finding Calix on the rotation, opening up the A bomb site. Woksik missing, what, two or three orb shots there, but it's the P250 body shot that saves the day. Tactical timeout for Na'Vi. A moment's respite to catch their breath, control their emotions, because they're so tantalizingly close now to getting to the semi-finals, but a few bumps in the road. Round 21, money's okay, but it's certainly starting to he bled out a couple of Galils will be presented here. If Eternal Fire win this round, they can still do this in regulation and take us to the third map of Nuke. The game's on a knife's edge right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Round number 21 is a real big deal here. You're absolutely right. On a knife's edge, every single decision you make here, when you are absolutely right, that timeout, get the emotions under control. That is how you lose a game right now. If suddenly you're flustered, you're running in, you're not ready. You don't need that right here. Kalix puts up the grenade, but oh it will my. not make a difference. Imma finds him. Do they commit on this? Missed. He's going to be able to pick it up, and now they want to go for it. They pull the trigger on the A-bomb side. A grenade catches Imma before he can get into the pit. Woksik, you need one more. It's not going to come through. This is looking dangerous. They're going to go for it though, Anders. Antares knows. These are the sort of rounds that he's destined to win. AK-47 in hand. Decent utility. Stifling towards Wonderful. Takes a ton of damage here. They need to work it out now. Are they going for this? Almost certainly with the bomb ticking at some pace. Antares yeah. needs the open up. Setting up for it. Crouching on in. His gun barrel nearly showing Alexi up at the grave. Oh, no. oh! Gets one. He picks up a headshot on Alexi. It is unbelievable. JL alone. All of a sudden put to the test. And now inside of the smoke. Oh, he, oh, oh, he sprays the entire horizon to find the kill. And put Navi one step closer to the semi-final. If anything, the Galil was the perfect weapon for the job. 35 bullets available. It comes down to a couple of bullets either way. Woxic did absolutely everything to keep the dream alive there. The retook was looking fantastic. Zantares got into that Terminator mode. And JL, it's not pretty, but it does secure semi-final points. 12 to nine. One more will do it. And it's the MP5, Anders. Yes, the MP5 has been MP5. deployed. 
What is going on out there? It makes some noise. It's going to be the final round. What an epic series it's been. Is it the MV Violet to close things out? Right here, right now. The money is broken. If they were going to close it, Anders, it has to be here. No Otherwise, question. we're going to over time again. Financial advantage for Eternal Fire. Another wacky round up against us. Look at the setup here. I think they're going to signal A. And if they go back to the B bomb site, it'll once again be the captain of the Turkish squad, Madja. Right now, alone on an island. They picked up the bomb here. Let's see, they might have changed their minds, but for a minute it looked like they dropped the bomb back and we're going to maybe try and make for a quick retreat. Here we go. <laughs> Flash around it, but it walks it. Critical shot to open up the round with. As Imma gets exploded. Just 35 seconds left. Kalix real close now with the MP9. Perfect position enough. for this kind of weapon. What's the play here, Andy? You've got 20 seconds. The oh. MP5, it's going to find the kill. Kalis goes down. Woksik, 16 HP. It has to be Wakadia. He needs to deliver on all fronts. Flashbang's being delivered, and the MP5 with a double. Woksik wants again to be tested. He needs multiple frags. Surrounded. Is this enough? Three versus two. The bomb will go down, and Maja and Zantara to save the day once again. They have no utility. Nothing to speak of in terms of the backstab. There's a kid available, but it looks like Na'Vi might have done enough here. I can't believe it. The MP5. No, wonderful, no! Back to the deep history of Counter-Strike. Madja with a shot in the back, but he does go down. Centaurus will fall. It's Na'Vi to bring the chaos to Copenhagen and the pain to eternal fire. These quarterfinals keep on delivering. What a fantastic series. It could have gone either way. Some of the craziest rounds you're ever going to